गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग कॉन कॉल सो एज यूजल विल बिगिन विद द टेक्निकल एंड डेरिवेटिव आउटलुक ऑन द मार्केट फॉर टूडे एज वेल एज द अपकमिंग वीक इन जनरल सो Uh, on Friday, we saw that Nifty closed the week on a bearish note uh, as the index faced a sharp profit booking, uh, plunging by more than hundred points. Overall, the index uh, failed to hold on to the nineteen five hundred levels uh, and has given a close below that, which somewhere indicates a bearish uh, bias going into today. Overall, uh, the index is currently trading within a range of nineteen three hundred uh, on the downside to nineteen six hundred to six fifty, which should act as a resistance on the upside. RSI two can be seen trading with a negative momentum right now. Nifty futures uh, saw a long, uh, sorry, a short build up uh, to the tune of point three five percent and a decline in OI by nine hundred and eleven contracts. PCR overall has remained stable at zero point nine one. If we look at the options data, uh, we can see that on Friday, nineteen six hundred and nineteen five hundred strikes witnessed uh, heavy addition in terms of call writing, which somewhere indicates a strong resistance going into today. While uh, on the other hand, put buying too can be seen uh, at the nineteen four hundred strike, which indicates further bearish sentiments. In case of Bank Nifty, Bank Nifty too should be entering this week on a negative note. Uh, overall, it should be a, a sideways day today or uh, considering the trading holiday tomorrow and a decisive movement can be expected on 16th of august talking about levels uh, we think that bank nifty since it has broken below 44300 on friday uh, the next support which can be considered is around uh, 44000 while 43500 uh, sorry 43500 uh, can be considered as the next support in terms of the futures data, Bank Nifty futures has witnessed a short buildup to the tune of uh, 6.79%. And there was a rise in the open interest of uh, 9,990 contracts. If we consider Bank Nifty's PCR, we can see a decline from 0 0.80 to 0 0.71. According to the options data, 44,500 strikes saw heavy call writing additions on Friday, which indicates a strong resistance. While put buying can be seen at 44,000 strike, which is hinting towards some further bearish momentum going into this week. Speaking about sectors, last week, uh, PSU banks somewhere supported the market. And going into the current week, uh, one sector which is looking positive is the metal sector. Some stocks which can be watched out for from the metal sector are Hind uh, Hindustan Copper as well as Jindal Steel. Whereas some other stocks that can uh, be looked out for are Excite Industries, uh, Coforge, Varun Beverages and RHIM. On Friday, we saw that FIIs again have sold uh, around 3073.28 crores uh, in the cash market while in case of DIIs we saw some buying of uh, 331.22 crores speaking about the futures data in terms of stocks uh, some stocks where a long build up was seen were india cements uh, coforge as well as tata communication while short build up can be seen in alchem apollo tires and mfsl so this was all from my side. Now I'll hand it over to Vishal, sir, for further updates. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning, team. Uh, so starting up with uh, a couple of results. Uh, first, uh, on uh, NCC, so we have released our note. And again, like, you know, we are reiterating our positive and buy rating on the stock. And why is the target price support to 185? Uh, I think if you look at uh, the stock execution, whether you talk about uh, on revenue front, order win and uptick in margin, they had been there. So in a bull case scenario, we have given uh, an uh, I mean like you know on a different valuation parameter at fifteen times fifteen times price to earning ratio, the stock upside can be as high, so stock target price can be as high as two thirty two. So we are reiterating our positive view on NCC. Uh, next in the Sundaram Finance, a positive set of results. The company A of growth improved further to around twenty two percent, which was around seventeen percent on Y and Y basis in FI twenty three. Uh, NI growth was roughly nine odd percent, and uh, net buy lower A U M growth due to decline in margins. Uh, having said that, uh, if you look at uh, I mean uh, the stock after the news flow, 
uh, I mean, on the result and previously after we have initiated, the stock has done pretty well. And uh, in terms of uh, stock results also, it has a decent set of results from the company and we are having a positive and buy rating on the stock. And our target price is revised upward in the note to 3005. And if you look at uh, from valuation perspective, we are valuing the company at roughly like 3.6 times. Uh, next is on uh, Timken, so negative set of uh, commentary which is coming back in as per the stock exchanges release. Uh, the company has uh, shut down its uh, Jamshedpur plant for roughly 10 odd days. Uh, though as per the release company mentioned uh, two things which is like in you know, a lower demand and uh, in order to have a better uh, production efficiencies now if you look at uh, from a demand point of view if that if the shutdown has happened then it's pretty uh, negative for the bearings as a sector uh, which includes uh, all the shufflers and uh, even like you know the likes of rolex is also uh, getting uh, could get impacted from this valuation wise most of these bearing companies are uh, trading at uh, pretty high valuation so that is a cautious note uh, based on the timken uh, release to stock exchange, uh, exchanges uh, next in terms of results is uh, pnc infratech so if you look at uh, uh, probably like you know uh, subdued the performance in quarter one having said that company is maintaining our guidance for the next year uh, for this FA24 and uh, again like you know in terms of event to watch is like you know how exactly the order inflow will is there in the sector because that has been pretty uh, lukewarm for not only for PNC Infratech even for the likes of GR and uh, KNR and uh, Ashoka and Delhi so road sector inflow is something that is to be watched uh, I mean if you look at uh, we are maintaining our buy rating on the stock given like you know company historically they have done pretty well and execution will uh, pick up as we move in the quarter two onwards in this particular year uh, next is on uh, ME organics uh, so ME organics uh, I think if you look at results point of view result was a bit subdued but again like you know uh, expectation was uh, from all the chemical and organics uh, company to have a subdued kind of result. So the same thing is getting uh, panned out in this quarterly numbers. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, I mean, like, you know, from quarter two onwards, company is guiding, like, you know, things will improve for them. Uh, and uh, revenue guidance of around 22-25% is maintained and pick up in advanced intermediate business and specialty business uh, is, is, uh, is uh, could be seen from the quarter two onwards. So in the note that we have published, we are maintaining our buy rating on the stock. Overall valuation uh, remain quite attractive for ME Organics and uh, uh, our target price is 1450 uh, Next is on uh, JSPL. If you look at from a numbers point of view, profitability was ahead of our estimate. Uh, sales volume has, though sales volume on a quarter quarter has decreased. Uh, export contributed around 10% total revenue. And, uh, uh, and nevertheless, GSPL has continued on this deleveraging exercise and is that net debt has uh, fallen 15 years low to around 6,800 crores in this particular quarter. Uh, but uh, having said that, I think in, in terms of our recommendations, so we are maintaining a cautious, cautious view on overall in the metal space. And uh, we, we probably, uh, I mean, like, you know, in terms of our recommendations, still uh, uh, kind of hold to sell and most of the uh, metal uh, uh, pack as a whole that we have. Uh, next is on Surya Roshni. Surya Roshni has reported numbers and if you look at the steel price profitability was weaker than expected as there has been company has booked the inventory losses amidst the volatile steel prices. Uh, steel pipe segment, uh, EBITDA per ton, uh, I think if you look at is jumped by 41% by and basis and it continued to remain, it continued to have a robust order book of around 500 crores from oil and gas and export sector. Uh, lastly, it's uh, net debt fell. In this particular quarter, a company aims to be a net debt free company. Now, looking ahead, we anticipate the company steel pipe, pipe margin to recover sharply from quarter two. And thus, we are maintaining our uh, uh, buy and uh, positive view on the company with the target price, unchanged target price of 937. Uh, next is on Astral, where we continue to have a hold rating because of the uh, pretty rich valuation. The stock result was in line with what we were estimating. Our healthy growth of plumbing business aided uh, robust volume growth and there has been a softening of raw material prices uh, which has uh, uh, weighed on the uh, total NSR. Uh, in terms of outlook is robust for the company and uh, company in terms of results wise this, this was like you know almost 6% kind of revenue growth that they have done. Uh, but I think uh, uh, in terms of uh, opportunity space remain but I think at 17 times when you are valuing it at so we have a hold rating on the stock.
next is on uh, city union bank which reported numbers uh, pretty i mean if you look at uh, there has been a weak set of results if you look at uh, credit growth was around 4% on yny basis which was 7% and again uh, asset quality has a bit on the lower side the gnpa i mean if you look at it has uh, increased at around 4.91% uh, versus 4.37%. Now, I think within the banking pack, probably we have not seen an, uh, a deterioration in GNP, which we have seen in City Union Bank. And uh, so I think only comfort which is there in City Union is valuation. And uh, that's that's only making us to have a buy rating on the stock. But yes, I think within the pack of uh, banking space, we prefer HDFC Bank, ICSE, and in terms of uh, large, and then uh, in terms of uh, uh, mid and small, it's a federal bank. Uh, next is on Muthut Finance. So uh, we have a downgraded rating to hold after like, you know, stock has done pretty well and there has a run up of around 27% in the last three odd months. Uh, in terms of business result wise, uh, AUM growth was pretty healthy. But uh, I think uh, the sharp run up in the stock price has merit us to uh, a downgrade the rating to one notch to hold and with a target price of around 1,300. Yeah, so that's all from my side, and I'll hand it to the team now. Over to you. Uh, thank you, sir. Good morning, everyone. Few updates from my uh, side. First update on Sterling and Wilson Renewable Energy. Company has won 1,130 crore order from Gujarat Industries Power for its uh, proposes 600 uh, MWAC solar project. The next update on NBCC. Company has secured a work order of uh, around 279.31 crore from four projects. Then next update in NLC India, company has emerged successful beta for North uh, Dahu coal mine in Jharkhand. Uh, Lupin unit to manufacturing facility in Mandip has successfully completed GMP inspection by USFTA without any observation. Last update on PFC, Board of Power Finance Corporation has approved bonus issue of equity share to its investor proportion of one is to four. So that's it from my end. Now I will hand over to Prabhakar, sir. Thank you and over to you, sir. Good morning, team. Uh, market is slightly looking weak. You know, global markets are also not in a good health. So I think some correction can be on cards. So we have cautioned uh, slightly before. So now, now, now stocks have started to correct. Nifty is one. But today, being 14th August, most of the results are getting completed today. So the con calls and everything will be completed in next three days. But not a great result season if we go to see. Uh, everywhere they are talking about destocking or you know, uh, inventory pile up. You know, so order book is not great. So only few sectors, mainly in pharma, where they face North America, where their margins and the revenues have improved. So that is why pharma and API related stocks have done very well. Uh, Voltas came with the results. Voltas revenue was 23% higher at 3,430 crores. Profit after tax higher by 27% at 129 crores. EPS for this quarter was 3 rupees 91 paisa. So anyway, you know, the pickup is not great. No, it, it is a moderate. Uh, one of their division is still reporting loss, EBITDA loss. So I don't think we need to... Uh, look into it very deep. Cartech Trade acquires uh, OLX India's classified auto business, uh, almost 100% of that for 535 crores. Uh, we don't like uh, Cartech. You know, we think you know, this business scaling up will be very difficult. Purvangara came with numbers. So their Q1 revenue was 323 crores, higher by 50%. Pre-sale was something great. It was at 1,126 crore, uh, which is higher by 119%. Collection was at uh, 696 crores, higher by 52%. Uh, price realization was uh, also higher. Unsold inventory plus new launch is 5,528 crores. And their net debt has reduced by 89 crores to 2,119 crores. So debt is a problem, but if their net debt comes down, you now then the stock can get re-rated because you know the kind of collection they have done, their market cap is only 2,500 crores. For a single quarter, their pre-sale has been 1,120. 
uh, huge you know, and even collection is almost 700 crores no uh, which uh, for which you know there there should be a re rating anthony base came with the results so revenue was higher by 14% ebitda margin uh, at 22.9% but profit after tax came down at 20 22.6 crores not uh, long term can be good but uh, no, short term i am not still positive hdfc bank has said that there there is likely to be a funding risk impact on nims now the ceo came out and said and already banking sectors is seeing the profit booking and any merger and aggressive you no know, branch expansion will normally have a impact last year hdfc bank expanded 1200 branches this year they are, they have plans for 1500 next year another 1500 so i don't think hdfc will rally in a for somebody who is looking at 3 to 5 years it is okay to hold hdfc bank but banking stock you know there are other stock which will rally faster than hdfc bank for the next 1 2 years advance enzyme you know came with the results uh, so revenue was higher by 22% at 147 crores ebitda margin 30% higher uh, EBITDA margin as 30%, profit after tax uh, 29 crores, higher by 67%. Uh, Galaxy Surf Excellent came with the results. Their revenue was down 19% at 941 crores, EBITDA margin 13.3%. Profit after tax was down by uh, 25% at 75 crores. Uh, but uh, as FMCG as a sector is not doing well, that has had an impact on Galaxy, but for a long-term investor, any correction, uh, 10 to 15 percent correction would be an opportunity to buy Galaxy. Blue Dart has said that they are inaugurating 15 company-owned retail, uh, retail store, 15 franchisee collection center, 15 express selling agent, 15 regional service provider franchisee, and will extend uh, presence in 76 pin code across the nation. It is due to our Independence Day celebration. So this is a very aggressive move from Blue Dart. They are getting into you know, second line, third line cities like Madurai you know, and many other cities you know, people would not heard of. So that is very positive for Blue Dart. Phenolex cable came with the results. So revenue was higher by... 18.6% at uh, 1,204 crores. Profit after tax was higher by 52% uh, at 172 crores. EPS 10 rupees 49 paisa. So result on the face of it is looking very good. NHPC has signed uh, two hydro projects in the state of Arunachal Pradesh for 3,800 megawatt. One is Shubanshri Upper Hydro. Uh, 2000 megawatt, Hamala Hydroelectric, 1800 megawatt. Result as uh, for NHPC has not been great, but uh, we feel going forward, you know, they, they will have a very good growth. In the last news, NPS asset has grown by 27% in one year. That is 9 lakh 92,000 lakh crores. So 10 lakh crore will be soon reached, but uh, the chairman of PFRDA, Deepak Mohindi, said by FI24, the pension asset will cross 11 lakh crore, which is very positive for uh, equity market also, uh, as most of the NPS is invested in equity and that too in large cap. With that, over to you, team. एक बार ये कॉल को हम अभी हिंदी में कर लेते हैं स्टार्ट करते हैं ओवरऑल न्यूज़ के ऊपर तो हमने देखा है कि मार्केट में थोड़ा सा वीक सेंटीमेंट चल रहा है ग्लोबल मार्केट में भी थोड़ा सा मंदी देखने को मिल रहा है तो हमें लगता है कहीं ना कहीं ये हमारे इंडियन इक्विटी मार्केट्स में भी थोड़ा सा करेक्टिव करेक्शन वाला मोड हो सकता है अभी हालांकि आज 14 तारीख है रिजल्ट्स सीरीज खत्म होने को आए सबके कॉलिंग कॉलिंग्स वगैरह अभी नहीं होंगे ज्यादा तो जैसे ही रिजल्ट्स 
रिजल्ट सीजन खत्म होता है तो मुझे लग, हमें लगता है कि ये यहाँ से फिर शायद एक मार्केटिंग डायरेक्शनल व्यू डायरेक्शन की तरफ मोड पकड़ेगा तो मार्केट uh, में वैसे देखा जाए तो जिस हिसाब से लास्ट तीन हफ्तों से जो हम साइडवेज करेक्टिव मूव देख रहे हैं तो थोड़ा सा एक करेक्टिव मूव का माहौल है तो हो सकता है कहीं ना कहीं उन्नीस दो या उन्नीस हजार पैनिक सिचुएशन में आ सकता है वही लेवल अगर बैंक निफ्टी में देखोगे तो फोर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड के नीचे वो ट्रेड कर रहा है तो कहीं ना कहीं फोर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड के आसपास बैंक निफ्टी भी आने की उम्मीद है तो हम कॉशियस यू लेके चलेंगे रिजल्ट्स के बारे में बात करते हैं वोल्टास से स्टार्ट करते हैं वोल्टास के जो रेवेन्यू नंबर आए थे ट्वेंटी हाई होते हैं तो तीन सौ चालीस करोड़ के आसपास देखने को मिला पैट सत्ताईस टका ऊपर था वन ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट वन ट्वेंटी नाइन के करीब था ईपीएस थ्री रुपीज नाइन्टी वन पैसे के पास देखने को मिला है तो ये ठीक लग रहा है बट फिर इसमें भी हम ओवरऑल स्लाइटली कॉन्शियस भी लेके ही चलेंगे पूर्वा कलर के नंबर्स आए थे क्यू वन के जो नंबर थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री क्रोस फिफ्टी परसेंट ऊपर थे प्री सेल्स के जो काफी नंबर्स है वो काफी अच्छा है इलेवन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स क्रोस के आसपास आए हैं जो एक सौ उन्नीस हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन परसेंट ऊपर था कलेक्शन देखने को देखेंगे तो सिक्स नाइनटी सिक्स क्रोस थे फिफ्टी जो की फिफ्टी टू परसेंट हायर है और उनके काफी सारे जो अनसोल्ड और न्यू इन्वेंट्री है उसके नंबर्स काफी अच्छे के करीब उनके ये नंबर्स है तो हमारा ये मानना है कि इनका अगर आगे चलते हुए अगर इनका डेप्थ अगर कम होता है तो फिर ये इसके रीरेटिंग होने के चांसेस काफी ज्यादा है जिसके हालांकि इसका जो मार्केट कैप है पच्चीस करोड़ के आसपास ही है तो मैं लगता है कि अगर अगर डेप्थ अगर कम हो जाता है तो फिर ये काफी अच्छा एक स्टॉक हो सकता है वॉच करने के लिए एंटनी वेस्ट के नंबर आए थे रेवेन्यू फोर्टीन परसेंट आप ट्वेंटी टू टू हंड्रेड के आसपास है, है, इसमें हम शॉर्ट टर्म में इतना क्लियर व्यू नहीं है तो बट अगर किसी को लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से अगर इस पर वॉच करना है तो हमें लगता है कि इसमें एक तेजी देखने को मिल सकता है एच डी एफ सी बैंक के ऊपर एक अपडेट था कि उनके अभी जो सुनने में आया कि फंडिंग रिस्क का थोड़ा सा इश्यू हो सकता है और जिसके चलते और हमने ये देखा है कि अभी मजर के बाद उनके काफी सारे एग्रेसिव ब्रांच ओपनिंग के उनके सेट आइडिया से जहाँ जहाँ पे उन, उन्होंने ऑलरेडी 1200 के करीब ब्रांचेस उन्हें प्रीवियस ये करें प्रीवियस ईयर में सॉरी करेंट ईयर में किया है आने वाले दो साल में भी वो 1500 1500 के करीब वो और ब्रांचेस एड करने वाले तो इसके चलते हमें लगता है कि शॉर्ट टर्म में हमको इसका थोड़ा सा इम्पैक्ट एक स्टॉक्स के ऊपर देखने को मिल सकता है तो उतना आपको नया तेजी इसमें शायद देखने को नहीं मिले बट देन लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से डेफिनेटली एक बाइंग बाइंग अपॉर्चुनिटी हो सकती है तो इसमें लंबा व्यू लेके चले एडवांस एडवांस इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स के ऊपर नंबर आए थे रेवेन्यू बाईस टका ऊपर था वन फोर्टी के आसपास एबिटा में तीस टके की ग्रोथ देखने को मिली और पैट में भी 29 परसेंट का ग्रोथ देखने को बोला जो कि 67 परसेंट तो इसमें हम पॉजिटिव व्यू लेके चलेंगे गैलेक्सी सफकेट का नंबर्स आए थे रेवेन्यू में थोड़ा से नाइनटीन परसेंट की गिरावट देखने को मिली पैट में भी 25 परसेंट का गिरावट देखने को मिला 75 फाइव क्रोस के आसपास एफ एम सेक्टर ओवरऑल हम देख रहे हैं कि शायद थोड़ा सा स्लो डाउन है तो हम थोड़ा सा उतने इमीडिएट ट्रेंड के हिसाब से उतने पॉजिटिव नहीं है बट हम अगर किसी को इसमें लॉन्ग टर्म का व्यू लेके चलना है तो डेफिनेटली ये एक स्ट्रॉन्ग बेट हो सकता है ब्लू डार्ट के ऊपर अपडेट है ब्लू डार्ट ने बताया कि कंपनी नया नए स्टोर ओपन करेंगे फिफ्टीन स्टोर हो गए जो कंपनी के खुद के होंगे फिफ्टीन होंगे फ्रेंचाइजी मॉडल वाले होंगे और लगभग हो सकता है कि सेवेंटी सिक्स पिन कोड जो नए ऐड करने वाले हैं जहाँ पे उनके ये नए आउटलेट्स देखने को मिल सकते हैं तो ये बेसिकली इनकी जो एग्जिस्टिंग जो उनकी जो अभी की जो एग्जिस्टिंग सेटअप्स है वो ऐसे टू टायर और थ्री टायर सिटीज पे एक्सपांड करें सो देट वो उनका उनकी रीच काफी ज्यादा बढ़ जाए जो कि एक काफी अच्छे पॉजिटिव न्यूज हो सकता है फिनोलक्स केबल के नंबर आए थे रेवेन्यू 18.6 परसेंट के करीब पॉजिटिव था जो कि 204 करोड़ है 
पैट फिफ्टी टू परसेंट के आसपास था जो कि वन सेवेंटी टू क्रोस है तो हमें ये लॉन्ग टर्म में ये स्टॉक अच्छा लगता है आ, इसके बाद नंबर्स के बात करते हैं एनसीसी के नंबर्स थे वो जो पॉजिट जिसका रेवेन्यू थर्टी परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर में ग्रोथ देखने को मिला है इस पर हमारा पॉजिटिव व्यू है हम इसको आ, इस पर बाय रेटिंग है तो हम इसका जो टारगेट प्राइस है दो सौ बत्तीस पकड़ के चल रहे हैं सुंदरम फाइनेंस के ऊपर नंबर्स आए थे जो हम इसमें व्यू पॉजिटिव है इसके यू में ग्रोथ देखने को मिला ट्वेंटी टू परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर वर्सेज सेवेंटीन परसेंट एफ आई ट्वेंटी थ्री तो इसके जो इसके जो नंबर्स है इसमें भी हमने हमारा बाय रेटिंग हम लेके चल रहे हैं इसको जो रिवाइज टारगेट पैसे है तीन हजार पांच जबकि हालांकि इसके पहले के जो न, जो हमारे टारगेट पैसे था दो टू नाइन वन फाइव था जो बढ़कर तीन हजार पांच हो गया टिमकेन के ऊपर अपडेट है उनके जो जमशेदपुर का जो प्लांट है वो शायद वो पच्चीस अगस्त तक बंद रहेगा कंपनी ने बताया कि ये लो डिमांड और बेटर डिमांड प्लानिंग के चलते उन्होंने किया है जबकि ये टिमकेन जो है ये शायद थोड़ा सा स्लाइटली नेगेटिव हो सकता है क्योंकि ये जो टिमकेन जो बेसिकली बेरिंग सेक्टर्स और ये ये सेक्टर्स को वो उनका जो प्रोडक्शन होता है वो उनके लिए ज्यादा होता है और इनके जो वैल्यूशन है वो काफी थोड़े से हाई है तो शायद टेम्पररी ये नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट होगा टिमकेन के ऊपर सिटी यूनियन बैंक के ऊपर एक अपडेट तो हमने देखा था कि उनका जो ग्रोथ है वो डिक्लाइन हुआ फोर परसेंट ईयर ऑन ईयर वर्सेज सेवन परसेंट एफ आई ट्वेंटी थ्री के नंबर्स ये चीप वैल्यूशन होने की वजह से हम इसमें बाय रिकमेंड कर रहे हैं लॉन्ग टर्म के हिसाब से जो इसका जो हमारा बाय रेटिंग है और शॉर्ट टर्म में ये शायद नेगेटिव होगा लेकिन लॉन्ग टर्म में अगर किसी को बाइंग ऑफ ऑर्चुन देखनी हो तो हमारे जो टारगेट प्राइस हमने थोड़ा सा इसको इसको घटाया है एक सौ अस्सी था पहले तो लेकिन हमें लगता है कि एक सौ सत्तर अभी भी आ सकते हैं तो यही थे कुछ न्यूज अपडेट्स आज के दिन के लिए थैंक्स फॉर अटेंडिंग दी मॉर्निंग कॉल आई हैव ए नाइस डे थैंक यू